A call for help in the middle of a morning church service. A Kansas City woman called for an ambulance when she said her grandson was having a mental episode. But she said he was tasered and left possibly charged. 41 Action News reporter Shannon Halligan looked into what police protocol is in this situation. This grandmother wanted to help her grandson, but she felt calling police did more harm than good and that much of it could have been avoided. I go to Sunday school. It started 930. Barbara Bell started her Sunday like always at church. Her grandson came with. But right before services started, she said he started acting strange. He was, uh, he was uh, kind of real alert, running all around the place, doing a lot of stuff. But I knew the only way to get help for him was to call the ambulance. Bell said she notified dispatch that she thought he was having some mental health issues. Police officers arrived at the Bethlehem Antioch Church, and Bell said things escalated quickly. They start walking up on him, which of course that put him in, in fear. Bell said an officer used his taser, but her grandson continued to run. And he ended up on the pulpit, and by that time it was like seven of them on him. And they tased him like four different times. The deacon of the church also witnessed the interaction. That's when he drew his gun at him. And uh, most of the, the mothers in church, they said, don't shoot him. You know what I mean? Because they already had him down. Like Bell, the deacon felt the situation wasn't approached correctly. It was a better way they could have came inside the house of God to get him up out of there safely, you know what I mean, without stun gun or drawing a gun. However, according to KCMO police protocol, officers should use their best judgment when a person is being uncooperative. Police said two trained crisis intervention team members were there, and police policy says the use of a taser can be used to restrain or subdue a resistant individual. The official police report isn't complete yet, but police tell us there was an assault on a law enforcement officer, which could result in charges, something Bell hopes doesn't happen since she called them to help. Live in the newsroom, Shannon Halligan, 41 Action News.